Hi guys, Kevin here. Today I'm fixing a fabulous French dessert called chocolate pot de creme. Pot de creme is a silky smooth custard that is baked in little cups or in my case, ramekins. And it's a great make ahead dessert that you might like to serve for Valentine's Day. It practically screams romance to start put six six ounce ramekins in a roasting pan and heat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Then chop up five ounces of bittersweet chocolate and separate five eggs, five large eggs, and put the yolks in a large bowl. Now tip two and a half cups of heavy cream into a saucepan. And if you can't have heavy cream, use half and half. And then add one third cup of sugar and give the mixture a quick stir. And then bring this just to the simmer over medium low heat. Now, while the cream is heating, whisk the egg yolks until they turn pale and thick. This will take about two minutes. There, we're good to go. The eggs have turned pale and they are definitely thick. Okay, the cream is starting to simmer and you want to get it off the heat. Don't let it come to a boil. Oops. Yeah, sorry about that. I got my cream a little too hot. So now add the chocolate to the hot cream. And we want this to melt and become fairly smooth. So just run a whisk through the cream until the chocolate melts. Ooh, this is looking good. Yeah, this is one of Mr. Fox's favorite desserts because it's not only delicious, but it's gluten-free. I like it for those reasons too, although I don't care that it's gluten-free. I'm a wheat eater. But I do like that it contains only four ingredients. And there, see how smooth this is? That's what you want. Okay, now we have to add the hot chocolate cream to the egg yolks, but we don't want to scramble the egg yolks, so we have to temper them. And to, to temper the yolks, you just add a little bit of the chocolate cream while you're whisking the yolks vigorously. and just gradually add the chocolate like this. Keep whisking. And then after you've done, oh, two or three ladles of the chocolate, you can add the rest of it all at once without any fear of scrambled chocolate eggs. Now divide the chocolate cream between the six ramekins. I'm going to try to do this on camera without making a delicious mess. So far so good. The stuff smells terrific folks. There we go. I actually have a little left over. Hmm. Maybe I should grab a straw. No, I'll just add a little more to the ramekins. There we go. And then we need to add some boiling water to the roasting pan because 
the water will help the custard to cook very gently. This is called a bain-marie or a water bath. And you just add enough water to come halfway up the sides of the ramekins. And then into the oven they go for 30 to 40 minutes, just until the custard is set. I'm going to try to do this without spilling any of the water. That was easy. While the pot de creme is cooking, let me just thank all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. I think like 500 people subscribed just in the last 28 days. So thank you so much for that. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And tap the little bell icon so that you can receive notifications whenever I post a new video. All right, it's been 40 minutes and the pot de creme is done. And you can tell it's done if the center of the custard just jiggles when you shake the pan. And then what you need to do is move the pots out of their water bath and onto a wire rack to cool. And you need to let them cool for, oh, one hour. So after the pot de creme has cooled for one hour, pop it into the refrigerator for at least two hours. You want to serve it cold. And if you're not ready to serve then, cover it with plastic wrap and refrigerate for up to two days. Yeah, this is a great make-ahead dessert. All right, my pot de creme has been in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. I just put the pots back into the emptied out baking, or rather roasting pan, and I covered it with cling film. Let me show you a close up. Here it is. Let me show you how I like to serve pot de creme. Oh, and by the way, the barking that you hear is my dog Avery and her best friend forever, Fergus. Fergus is a Tibetan terrier and the two of them have been friends since they were six months old. So they're like wrestling out in the entrance hall. Sorry about that. So put the pot de creme on an attractive plate if you have one. And then I like to add a dollop of creme fraiche. And for garnish, some chocolate shavings. And now it's the moment of reckoning. The taste. Oh my God. Let me move the camera. Seriously, I don't think you need a husband, a wife, a boyfriend, or a girlfriend in order to have a romantic Valentine's Day. All you need is this. Well, I hope you learned something from this video. And of course, I hope you'll make this pot de creme. I'll post the list of ingredients down in the description box below. Sorry, these dogs are really going crazy. Uh, and if you learned anything from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And again, please tap the little bell icon so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Au revoir.